Shalom. Shalom. Jolly times in this country, no more. Neither now, over all over the world. He's so getting ready to cut off everybody. Smile, all them smiles going to be turned into a frown. And our frown going to be turned into smiles. Because this is the day we, what we was waiting on. Oh, um, yeah, I appreciate it. Go ahead. look at Jeremiah 25 and 31. And it says, A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Oshai, had a controversy, controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them, he will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. And them that are wicked, he will give them to the sword. Where is that sword? That sword is the martial law truth. Alright? That is that sword. That sword is these troops and that. That going and come. Hey, Jalawab, Jalawab. Now you sing my power. Huh? Now you sing my power. Now you sing my power. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 9. And it says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Say a sword, a sword is sharp, and also furbished. A sword is sharp and furbished. What is that sword? That sword is his shoes. As I say, right? The sword will become about all that do it evil is the very but I just read. Right? Right? All our young practices will be in this kingdom. In this kingdom. All our young don't want to repent. All our young just want to be a Trinidadian. Trinidadians are going to be destroyed. That's right. If you're not identifying as a Hebrew Israelite in sincerity and in truth and in faith, you identify as any other thing, it won't be destroyed. You know why? Because guess what? The Hebrew Israelites are on the forefront right now. We on the forefront. We overtake all other domin um, denominations and religions that it had before we come on the scene. We overtake them in a very short space of time. Hmm. In, a, in, in, in two twos, we stand up, everybody talking about the Israelites, right? Yeah. Everybody talking about the Israelites, even the President of the United States talk about the world. The prophets are doomed. Mm -hmm. He mentioned them, he mentioned me. He, he talk about the who, who, the who the hell are we talking about other than us? Exactly. The prophets talk about the prophets of doom. We just talk about doom. That is all that has come out, 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 out of our mouth. Because the scriptures say the day of doom shall be the end of this world. The day of doom. That's what we just be talking about. That's doom we there and that's doom we there. But we on the forefront. Remember the day of history. The Hawashai and Mashiach came on the scene in one, around 180. He set up the church around 3080, right? For three years he was now coming. Because of the gathering disciples, right? Prior to them, prior to Yahusha, you had the, the Zealots, you had the, 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 the uh, Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, you had the, the Sakari, because the Sakari is not a new thing, that whole thing, they just take the name, right? You had all of them, they used to try and, you know, but they had main, main groups just like the Sakari and the uh, the zealots, they used to come up against Babylon or, or Rome at the time, which was imposing heavy taxes on them. Right? And you had all of them in the 
are following our way. Okay? And then you have a shine now. This is why the apostle Paul said, I believe that the Lord has set for us the apostles last. Yeah, I was shy because it had other things prior to them. God was trying to overthrow the Roman Empire, but they couldn't. But yeah, I was shy going to be seen in 30 AD set up the church. We call the disciples Peter because we be account. We are written, right? When he called the disciples Peter, he called Luke. Um, he called Matthew. We call Bartholomew, Philip, Andrew, all of them. We call them, they all your come. Right? He had another 70 with him. And they were preaching the destruction of Rome and the rule the kingdom of heaven. Which was the And all they were doing was preaching. Constantly, constantly just teaching, 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 right? Yahushai died to the true age, right? Died, he rose back up. He lived, he, he, he do him, he do him, and he do him part. He rose back up. He came, he taught the, the disciples on them. He gave them the Holy Spirit, ascended into heaven from 3380. Around that very, around that time, there, the apostle Paul would have, would have, around 33 to around 50 some 80, somewhere in between, he would have, he would have got knocked off the horse and. and uh, the Holy Spirit and start to go and teach the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, right? So we're talking about 3380 to 4380 to 5380. 33 to 43 is 10. 43 to 53 is 10. 53 to 63 is 10. Right? Like three, like 30 years, right? 30 years time. That word that Yahweh was preaching is so powerful that. You understand? And the disciples and all of them get so powerful that in, in, in 780, Titus and them come and destroy the temple. They come and sack me. They say, you know what? They fucking just do away with them. They get so powerful that Nero, which was one of the Roman emperors, burned down Rome. Burn it up. Burn down Rome. He set Roman fire. And he says them Christian preachers and them who was in the preacher. He say that. He put the blame on me. It gets so powerful, the man asks the 18th chapter and the second verse. Alright? This is how powerful this word guy how much years. Back then. 30 years, bro. 30, 35 years. 35, let me say about 40 years. Did that how powerful the word get like the vibration? That's what we say in the push up. Look at what's going on right now on the face of the earth because of what we said. Majority, mainly from 2007 when the apostles and them ran on YouTube to now, which is about 12 years, 13 years. Look at what's going on. He's so frightened to death, he do not know what to do because the words that we say have weight and it have force. If it then had no force, he saw wouldn't be doing these things. He know what he's saying is the truth. That's right. Well, all right. This is the book of Acts chapter 18 verse 2. And it says, I found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, Italy. Come, 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 Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. Right, so it says Claudius. Who is Claudius? Alright, Claudius was a Roman emperor. When you, do, when you do secular history, this is why you need to know history. Right. To mesh the scriptures together. When you do secular history, on, uh, Claudius was a, he was like Donald Trump. Donald Trump today would have been Claudius. I'm not saying he's Donald Trump in the reincarnation, I'm just saying the power that Donald Trump has as the, the, the ruler of the United States of America, which is the new Rome, the commander in chief. When you look at the meaning of commander in chief, it means emperor. Right? He said, so he Claudius was the emperor, the commander in chief of the Roman Empire back then. Uh -huh. And when you look at why 
he commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. You look at the reason why he did it. They're going on to tell you is because the, the Jews at, at that time was preaching about Yahushua. They're going to say, it, it, when you look it up on the internet, they're going to tell you about Christus, which is Yahushua. Alright? Really is Yahushua. It was because of the constant teaching of Yahweh Shai, Claudius himself couldn't deal with that. So he said, all you get out of Rome. So they started to persecute them, kill them, sue them, do them all kind of thing. Because why? The things that they were saying back then and all, which is what we saying today, is the same doctrine. They have weight, they have force. I read the Apostle Paul said, in 1 Corinthians 4, um, verse, verse 18. This book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. And it says, Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. But I will come to you shortly, if the Lord Yahweh Shai will and will know, not, not to, know. will not know, Salah, will and will and so like I'll start back from the um, First Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. Some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. But I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will and will know not the speech. And I will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. Verse 20. And it says. For the kingdom of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai is not in word, but in power. But in power. There's power. The force behind it. That is how it is new. Some substantial. It has power. When we say it has power, it's not, just, it's not just words we just talk and no. It's not just words, bro. Is the Holy Spirit that gave any utterance and word and you have found. That is why it's so detrimental. That one is good. Same same scripture, let's back up to verse um, four. Um first Corinthians chapter two verse four. Two verse four. And it says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of power. Mm -hmm. See? Then yeah. Nine demonstration of what? Is it? But it says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. In demonstration of the spirit and power. See? That is what you can never help us. Because we could come in the scriptures, and what we could do in the scriptures is things that that people in do. And they held the scriptures for centuries. He saw how held the scriptures for centuries. Yeah. And he can't do what these men we are seeing on the streets are gonna ask for and for uh, uh, I believe from them. Yeah. 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 That's what then? Yes. Yeah. It says how how you know these men, these things have been never learned. This book of Acts chapter 4 verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. Unlearned and ignorant men. Because they didn't go to what theology seminary school. You feel they didn't have them thing on them back then? They had all them thing. Scripture says there is no new thing under the sun. It had ways and places you could have go and learn the Bible more eloquently than a normal man, but Peter and John, they didn't do that. No, Yahawashai did what? Yahawashai called them from fishing. All they knew was to throw a fish in the sea 
and catch fish, go and feed the farm. Just like all we knew before we came into the true world. Well. To go to work and make cut to cut whoever and do what we have to do and put one in the fuck, right? Yeah. That is all we didn't know. But I read the scripture saying now in 2 Peter, the third chapter, and the first verse, it says, I will bring all things to your remembrance. Alright? You can bring it, bring it to your remembrance. Why you have to remember? Because you didn't know it before. We, we had the spirit in us to know it. So it just had us to be drawn out from me. We had to be educated. And once we get educated, God, what educate means from within to draw out from within. Alright? So once we get educated now, we could come and stand up on my feet boldly. And because we do not know, it had this whole world in a fucking uproar, everybody unstable. Why? Because what we're saying, being unlearned and ignorant men, the noise is the truth. The truth is the most powerful weapon on the face of the earth. But what is so take the truth and do it, it is he use it to do wickedness. We come in with the truth in the right way. And that is shining light in dark places. <laughs> Alright, removing the face of the covering cast over all nations and all people. That is what we use any truth to do. Because these Illuminati, the Illuminati, the, the Luciferians of the world, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the, 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 the super rich, who are trillions of dollars, who not even in no, in no, they can't, their money can't count. They feel them and know what they see. They feel them and know the truth. They know the truth. They've been had the truth. They know everything we know. They know everything we know, but them use the truth to deceive people and for them to be alone in the light. So that, because once you had the truth, you could control everybody. You know? And you had the truth and you have power on your side. Because we had the truth, but we don't have the, we don't have no, the earth in our hands yet. But them had the truth. Them had the, the, the light while the earth was in their hands. So them could have taken it and deceived I and knew it. But I don't want them to know it. So you know what? I go sway them mind however I feel like. Teacher is a Christian. Teacher is a black man. Teacher is, is a nigga, a Negro. Teacher is a Muslim. Teacher is a, a African. Right? Teach the East Indians and them there is not Elamite. Eastern young, teach the Chinese, he's a Chinese man, he's not a Moabite. Teach um, the Arabs and them, or there's no no Ishmael, uh, Arabs, Saudi Arabia, change the names of different places, call this place no longer, it's no longer um, like Iran for instance, Iran was Persia, at one point in 1935 they changed it to Iran, change the names of countries, change the names of the people. Change your names are everything, and you alone, them alone, and in, in there in their section, no, that there is not so. But you know what? Them are, that is what will give them the power because if them know them, them had the knowledge, they had the fucking knowledge in the head. They know how to share it with everybody, them alone keep it for themselves. That is the Illuminati. Illuminati and what they did is deceive the whole world so we now come in as ignorant and unlearned men ignorant and unlearned men right we come in now as ignorant and unlearned men pushing out this word who then go on theology seminary school who them go no, no um, Bible class and all of them things to find out. We don't do that. We never do that. All we heard was the word. All we do is when, I, when the word come to me, it's say, what? This is why I have a shy say, not John 10 and 27. Because he so went to, to lengths through the Illuminati, through, the, through these different... Um, um, meetings that they keep to try and keep you blinded 
they don't do one thing to keep me blinded and all these philosophies and them we're seeing outside here. You feel he couldn't tell me from the start he's Israelites? He know he's fucking Israelites from day one. He know who he was taking in captivity. He know. Them know when they went down here in the West Coast of Africa and every other place. When they come over here and get the North Native American Indians and the Latinos, so-called Latinos. Even them know. Them know that he, God's people them was put into captivity. You feel he couldn't tell me the Bible is rebook from day one? But no. If he come and he tell me that, then we would be enlightened. And we will start a search for the, the, the answers for himself. He don't want that. He want to be in the light for himself. And for we in darkness. But yeah, how a shine out okay. here. The doctrine come back to me. And when you get a doctrine in me, the light start back to shine. And that light shining. And, and everybody fucking blinding everybody else. This is the true light. The true light. Right? John chapter 10 verse 27 and it says my sheep hear my voice mm -hmm. goes on to say and I know them and they follow me and they follow me <laughs> see my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they what what do do they, they, they walk behind mm -hmm. as they hear it as they hear it as what some just park so well what Israelite. If you know George, you know what you here for. They are not the Lord's sheep. They are not part of the elect hopefully. The hopefully elect. When you hear the word now, you are going your merry way. You even have a philosophy you probably was into where that you just not sticking it. Eh? And then, what? Israel. Hebrew, right? Yeah, I was shy. You believe? You hear, you hear your hawa? What? You believe? And then you, well, you start to grow. You start to conform. You start to level things out of this world. You start to conform to the world. You the things that you hear, you start to conform to it. The Bible says, go do this. I'm like, okay. Okay, I'll stop. The Bible says, do this. Okay, I'll do it. Because what you have, what I just said, he said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. The sheep. The chosen. Right? The elect ultimately that is who the outside here for every human being. For the heavenly father to deal with every human being. Case and point no one the act. If you used to deal with every human being, every human being would have been on the act. The Heavenly Father put animals before human beings on the ark. They to tell you when you get fed up and all your people is to kill everyone on you. They tell you what take more animals than humans and all. They to tell you how serious the Lord is when you get fed up. The Lord don't care about every human being. That what Christianity like to fucking preach. In this John 3, 16 wrong breakdown to keep telling people for centuries now. Nobody don't want to hear all your fucking wrong breakdown. That was Esau now, clamping down on all your and all your church. And don't look sharp if you know, come back no church. Just leave it fucking close. Now praise the Lord for that too. 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 Now praise the Lord we well, can do it, right? Can't do it, not. you said it. <laughs> that you're, that you're law. We are abiding by your law. You should just say that. You should just say that. Well, um, the, the, the rulers in um, Romans 13 chapter. The rulers are not at so we are abiding. But see one for four. I can't But. These Christians and them who are in this church, and they know not about street evangelizing. They know them like the AC. Right? They like the. So if the pastor comes now and says, oh, yeah, let me go out and groups are uh, four or five, they don't want to be. They're more comfortable. <laughs> but, 
Well, guess what? We, this is we ministry from day one. See? This we ministry from day one. From the start, we always outside on the streets. Preaching, crying unto the people to repent, but they don't want to hear. And now we see the end of the world is upon me, and there's still no one to hear. We still outside here crying, and there's still no one to hear. So when the Heavenly Father get ready to bring the destruction on them, that is their ass business. I don't know, I don't know, feel sorry for none of you. I mean, go and feel sorry for them. I mean, go and cry and feel the God, boy, right? Oh God, boy, why do I die? No. Fuck all of you, boy. I don't care about niggas and I don't care about fucking negresses. I don't care. Negresses is these nigga women and them. I don't care about them. I don't care about the niggas. Right? These little neglects and them. <laughs> Nigga pigs and fucking men. I don't care about them. I will pray to your green father to kill them quick. Get them off the face of the earth. Get them niggas off the face of the earth. I don't give a fuck about niggas. Samuel L. Jackson is a perfect example of them. In the movie Django. Grand. Them is the ones. I, I, I eat a mic real quick. I rise up and say, where we go in his wickedness. A chick who loves Esau's system. Yeah. Yeah. There's a love, the love of the trust and oppression. You see? And trust and oppression and one there no way. It has it have oppression. Two things oppression is good. Oppression will make a wise man mad. But the fool will trust in it. Because the scriptures does say about trusting and oppression. The scriptures tell you about that people who go down. My God, I think my God is there. Isaiah chapter 9 says this is a that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seats. And, and, and at the end of the day, right? The reason why Israel latch on to unrighteousness and the, and the, the sweet savor of unrighteousness, like how our baby does latch on to him on our breast, is that. They, right, get a taste of the nectar of the wicked. Because unrighteousness and wickedness is very sweet to the flesh. And the forget all along the most I say, envy not the oppressor and choose none of their ways. The forget that all along. So now, the oppression, the watching where the oppressor is and how he living, right? And the watching the ways are the most high and how restricting it is. And the, the, the say to the self, to function like this, I'm gonna have to restrict myself from all them pleasures and them day. I had to restrict myself from them pleasures, but then seeing that them pleasures and them is a way is the way that lead it unto destruction. That's it. That's right. Then seeing that but the way unto eternal life is a simple thing, and you know what? When it truly Submit yourself to the ordinances of the Heavenly Father. The most I just started to take away the, the urge for unrighteousness from you. And then, if you're lucky enough to reach in that position, you'll watch back and you'll say, um, Hey, Tawara, you all you could say thanks because at the end of the day, to move for the Heavenly Father to bring you from that point to this point. Men run, run out of the wits. Just to, to do all type of abomination, just to please a woman and his hand to serve the flesh. You know? All kind of abomination men do. And when a man come now to tell him what prophesy unto us, the, the, the Lord, um, Lord coming to destroy the, the, the earth, repent, you know, bring the flesh into subjection. 50 cents sing it in the song, he say what? The preacher man come around, he tell him keep walking, he don't want to hear it. 
He say he put the, he, he put the powder in the pot and the weapon till he pulling out the lot. The preacher man come to tell that wicked nigga stop destroying the people and he put more cooking in the pot and make crap and destroy people more until he could drive off at the lot with a Benz or some kind of Ferrari or something. And then he said, I see man. <laughs> One man you is by and that is, that is, that is, that is why he doesn't want you to come and tell him because that is there, that is there for, for living like that. Living in the, in, in, in the mud and the lust of the eyes and, and, and the pride of the eye. That is what all that has been consumed with. And boy, you know, funny enough, when they reach down in age, all that has faded away from them. When the bones start to get weak and, and you can't do nothing, now they just want to, they just want to be, um, I'm not sure I'm so good. Most I see you have no pleasure. Then I'm all full. Right? The most I say you have no pleasure in a whole fool. Right? The Heavenly Father have no pleasure in that because when he was well. young and strong. Right? And he was fit. You didn't want to hear what the prophet was saying. But just like in the days I know when, he, when, when the most I bring down the hammer. Then you want to hear. But the time up, time up. They will be outside here telling these people. But you know what? Funny enough, who have to hear it as the scripture says in John chapter 10? The sheep will hear the voice. And to the rest, all we're doing is telling them that when the destruction comes, we'll go say that we'll shut, 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 we'll sh